Hey guys, this is 363, and today I'm going to be showing you how to have a custom lock screen on your Kindle Fire. Now this whole tutorial, you're not going to need the computer at all. So put away your computers and pull out your Kindles. Now to show you, this is what this is what you can have it look like once you're completely finished with this tutorial. See, as I have the ice cream sand, not the ice cream sand, I have one of the, an the many Android lock screens. You just pull the ring up, you pull here to unlock. Okay, now to get there, I have Go Launcher running, by the way, too, because I don't like the default Android locker. Um, so, first you're going to go to the Android Market, which I have a little widget right there for the Android Market. You're going to go into the Android Market and you're going to download No Lock. That's N-O space W, or not W, L-O-C-K. No Lock. I probably should have it right there. Yep, there it is right there. No Lock. It's that app right there by B. BOD and I already have it so I'm just gonna open it up now right now it says I have the locking disabled which I do to run magic locker but if I enable it like that when I turn it off and turn it back on it has my default Kindle Fire launcher and then it goes into the launcher I have set up well the reason I like magic locker over like go locker is because on Go Locker it has this pesky little notification bar and it takes away part of the locking screen. But with this it hides it and I can just slide it up. Okay, so I'm gonna open No Lock. And if right now if you disable No Lock, it'll force close on you. Mine is not force closing because I have it as a system app and I'll explain there. So next step, you're gonna go into Root Explorer, which I have right there. Root Explorer, and you're going. You're going to go into data slash app, data slash app, and in there you're going to find no lock, which it's not in mine because I moved it. But we'll just show you like Pandora. What you're going to do is you're going to tap and you're going to hold and you click move right there. Move. And then you're going to go up, back to the top, parent folder, go into system, system right there, system. Nope, I'm still in data, sorry. You're going to go all the way back, and then you're going to go to system, my fault. And system, app. And you're going to paste it there. I don't want to paste it there because it's Pandora and not no lock, but you want to paste it there if you have no lock. Now then you're going to go back home, you're going to shut your Kindle off, and then you're going to just restart it. So do that, and we'll move on to the next step, is to go to Google, I have a little widget there, and Google Magic Locker Main. No. Oops, I have Facebook running. Exit, out of Facebook, nope, exit, there we go, okay. So the first one that shows up is market.android.com, apps, personalization, magic locker, main. You're going to tap on that, and what it's going to tell you, it's going to say, this app is not compatible with your device. Oops, didn't mean to do that. You need to click install, and it's going to tell you to sign in. You're going to hit sign in. And you are going to sign in to my to your Gmail account. Hold on, let me sign into my Gmail account real quick. You might want to pause it. Shoot, you can't read that, can you? Sorry, the glare's not working that well. Okay, let's lower it. Haha, ha, there we go. So it's going to ask you complete action using, and you're going to click market. Now it's going to open up the market, and it'll say accept and download. You're going to download Ma Magic Locker Main, and once you download it, 
You're gonna go back to no lock, which should be a system app by now. Let's see, go into all my apps, go over that way. That way. It should be for me, I think I have them in alphabetical order. Why is my. Oh, there it is. Okay, no lock. So, then you're gonna tap it, and it should say locking disabled. Should have an orange lock that has like the lock unlocked, and it'll say locking disabled. Now, after you disable it, you want to go back to the market, which is my little widget right there, and you're going to want to search for magic locker, just straight up magic locker. Now see all these, these are all the magic locker themes they have. There's multiple upon multiple. The one I have right now is Sense 3.0 P Magic Locker Theme, and I already have it installed. So, yes. So, yeah, as you can see, this is the one I have. Okay, I'm just going to download one real fast for you. So I can show you what to do. Let's do one touch. That seems promising. You need to download it like you do every market app. Download the market app. And it shouldn't take too long to install because it's not that big of an app. Now once that you're gonna open up the theme that you just, and it says install the theme. You're gonna click install the theme and it'll bring you to a screen that has a bunch of different themes on it and you're gonna click on the theme you just um, clicked I have like an iPhone lock screen, I have the Pac-Man lock screen Pac-Man's pretty cool, I have the zipper lock screen I'll put it on my zipper lock screen and you're gonna click apply down in the bottom and it'll load, it says this theme is customizationable, would you like to customize it right now? You can Click yes or no, depending on if you want to have widgets or something. I'm going to click no. And that, it'll pop up your lock screen, what it looks like. Mine is a zipper, as I said. And you can just unzip it. Unzip and load. And we'll test run it. Put it to sleep. Turn it back on. Look at, there's a zipper. This zipper has a little bugs in it because the, app, the zipper hasn't been perfected all the way. It does bounce a little bit when you turn it on. It is just a little bit laggy, but other than that, it's pretty decent. Um, it's a pretty decent theme. Okay, there you go. This is how to have a custom lock screen for Kindle Fire. The link to, the link to my thread on XDA4, XDA developers, will be in the description if you wanna step by step in writing oh and you have to have I'll put this read the description thank you for watching have a nice day oh PS I'll have a donate link in the description if by if you just want to donate that's fine you don't have to I will keep making videos hopefully of how to do various stuff with your Kindle um yeah that's it Thanks.